this mini lecture is on the descriptive research method known as the correlational method. Descriptive research methods are those methods that are able to only yield descriptions of behavior. They are not able to show us cause and effect. Other descriptive research methods that are mentioned in your book include naturalistic observation, where you're going to observe the behavior in its natural setting, lab observation, where you'll bring the participant into a lab and observe the behavior, a case study, where you're going to look very in-depthly at one person or a small group, and survey research, where you're going to use either surveys or interviews to gain really quick information about attitudes and beliefs. Okay, and then our correlational method is used to establish the degree of relationship between two characteristics, events, or behaviors. Correlational method cannot show us cause and effect. It simply tells us that there's a relationship between two things. We can have either a positive or a negative correlation. With the positive correlation, as one variable increases, so does the other. For example, the more you exercise, the better your health. With the negative correlation, as one variable increases, the other decreases. An example, the more you exercise, the less weight you gain. Our correlation will be re represented by a number somewhere between negative 1 and plus 1. The closer we get to each side, so the closer we get to either negative 1 or plus 1, the higher or the stronger our correlation. Having a zero would mean that we have no correlation or that there's no relationship between the two items. So looking at this list here, which one represents the strongest correlation? Right away, we can knock out the last one, plus 1.15. Correlation is going to be a number between negative 1 and plus 1, cannot go over 1. Our strongest correlation would be this negative 0 0.8. It is the closest to either negative 1 or plus 1. Second strongest would be the positive 0 0.79. Look at it, uh, another example for each. If we try to demonstrate positive correlation in studying and test performance, the more you study, the better your test performance. They both are increasing. And negative correlation with studying and test anxiety, the less you study, the greater your test anxiety. One goes down, one goes up. That's the end of this mini lecture.